New York City, a place that never sleeps, never slows down, never waits for others to catch up. This city is defined by its people, those who spend their days making it great and those who come to be immersed in that greatness. The Jacob K. Javits Convention Center is a tribute to the city, serving as a community to the public, entertainment to the visitors, and a marketplace for the world. In New York City, during this age, to be on top, you need to stay on top. And for the Javits Center, the time had come to make a bold statement that this facility was still relevant as a major player in the convention and trade show industry. Tishman Construction was hired by Empire State Development Corporation approximately six years ago to assist in the pre-construction of the Jacob Javits renovation project. We were brought on as construction manager due to our depth of knowledge and resources that we could bring to the project to help in the selection of the architects, selection of the subcontractors, and help formulate the consulting team that would bring the project to fruition. The Jacob K. Javits Convention Center was constructed in 1986. It was designed by IM Pay and Partners. Today, the Javits Center hosts over 150 events annually and over 3.5 million visitors pass through its doors each year. When we first arrived on site at the Javits Center renovation project, we found hundreds of water collection diapers that actually collected all the rainwater from the leaks that were coming from the roofs. This building, as beautiful as it is, and as open and airy. The hydrologic study seeks to quantify how much of the uh, rainfall that is incident to the green roof actually becomes runoff. So New York City is, like many old cities, has combined sewers, which means that the runoff uh, that's collected in catch basins and, and um, sewer drains um, goes to the same place as the domestic and industrial sewage when you flush your toilet. So we'll have. CSOs or combined sewer overflows right here in the Hudson River and the city is actively trying to um, meet federal regulations and reduce the overflow. We have sensors in uh, the roof drains so we have what are called flumes and we're able to measure continuously how much water is entering their drains um, and we'll also have a section of the green roof positioned on top of a very sensitive scale and so from the mass changes we can um, estimate the quantity of rainfall that fell on the roof that's now leaving the roof uh, as evapo evaporation or evapotranspiration that's evaporation occurring through the plants that are, that are actually on the green roof. In New York City, most of our rainfall events are relatively small, less than a quarter of an inch per event. And for these types of events, we're expecting that the green roof is going to be able to attenuate most of the runoff. The extent to which um, this initiative that the Javits Center has taken is incrementally reducing the impact that this piece of real estate is having on the performance of, uh, of the local sewer system and therefore on public health and the, and the quality of the Hudson River. And so in other places you're going to have similar environmental issues. That Tishman undertook and to their creative out-of-the-box thinking um, in terms of addressing some of the unique issues and the unique construction logistics that were prevalent in undertaking a renovation of this size and magnitude while still remaining operational. I believe that the project has been a success, not only functionally in improved HVAC systems, a better non-leaky roof, but also aesthetically. We have made the place brighter, lighter, and to enable Javits to continue their position as the marketplace for the world.